Hey Votarians, alright, so today's guide is one of the most highly requested uh, tutorials from you guys in the last in the past few months, so the cell phone, the dreaded cell phone. Pretty much every playthrough with the uh, um, co-op playthrough, co-op run that we have, people, experienced players, uh, we all kind of struggle with this because it's a hit and miss and it's, uh, it's one of those, uh, you know, accessories that take a long time to to assemble and it can be tedious and luck based and sometimes it is annoying and frustrating to the point that people give up so one of the first things we need to obtain here is the magic mirror which can be found in golden chests or ice chests uh, frozen chests in the ice biome or any other biome in the underground or cavern layer okay so that's very easy the next step is one of the most annoying parts and hopefully this will clarify things a bit for you guys. So we get the angler, obviously the angler is, uh, is key to this uh, accessory. So the, and the first thing we need to do obviously is, uh, because a the angler gives us three, uh, three components that let us craft the fish finder. Okay, So obviously it can only be done through completing fish fishing quests, daily quests, right? So, and you know, guys, if you hate fishing, and let's say you you really don't like this whole process, you wanna, you know, make it as as uh, at least painful as you can possibly make it, right? So, so what? How can we do that? So, thing is, you only need to do about ten fishing sessions to to acquire your your cell phone, and I'll show it to you right away. So no, notice here that all I'm doing, even though I'm fishing midday, poor weather conditions, so not really suitable for fishing, but I have good fishing gear, so it kind of uh, balances out, right? So, and you see, I caught already, I caught three Scorpio fish, four now at this point, right? So, and I keep catching them and stashing them in a chest. So that means next time, you know, when I, when I get the same quest, I will not I won't have to go back and, and fish, right? So all I will need to do is basically, you know, open my chest, get the fish and deliver it to the angler. Okay, so for another reward. So this actually minimizes the number of fishing outings that you have to take. Now, another thing is, think about it this way. If you're in multiplayer, then you're set because at least, you know, one or two people may be out of the group, maybe interested in, 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 you know, be into fishing, like myself, for example. With every playthrough, we, we uh, co-op playthrough that we have in our servers, we basically, uh, we do a lot of fishing and, and we help each other, right? So if, let's say, if I fish, I catch extra and I put them in the in chest so for others to 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 grab and complete the quest even though they don't like fishing at all and then don't do any fishing but this way we can actually get those rewards much faster and, and you know kind of balance out trade between us uh, and and complete it much 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 faster okay so and note so i've done about 12 14 i think um fishing outings right so and now all i'm doing is basically turning in in uh, quest fish to give it back to the angler right so to get my reward and if you're in journey mode you can do what i'm doing now you basically you can fast forward time to next morning and see what next is on the menu and then you know if you didn't catch that fish like in this case so you can uh, skip go back to the next day right away okay so jungle fish now i have it in one of my chests here okay so that's it and you know turn give it back to the angler and get your useless potion right so and bait whatever and keep rolling right so but if you're in in classic if it's not journey you, you can't obviously fast forward time like this so you can just sleep in bed instead right so it can speed up things quite a bit five times by the way uh okay so oh go, look at this so fish fisherman's pocket guide so it's one of the three accessories we need to craft the fish finder which goes in, into crafting of your cell phone okay so and again so we keep we keep doing this like i said in multiplayer it makes things much faster because you know with every extra player added to your to your group you have you know you multiply your chances pretty much right so and so if you have like five people present so it's five times faster to actually get the the required accessory because everybody at the same time will will you know 
complete the quest and then we just see okay so if I have two extra like in this case see I got two uh, fisherman pockets guys but somebody will get a, a, an extra sextant or an extra weather radio so we kind of replace swap around trade around and we complete it much much faster okay so but in solo see here I'm doing it solo and I'm kind of stuck I have two fisherman pockets guides uh, pocket guides and I, I have one weather radio and I'm not getting any luck with sextant so I keep rolling and again this is a good example of bad luck so uh, it may take you many days actually to complete it to get this uh, last component finally right so but it it could actually take a while so so uh, with that in mind again if you do this correctly you need to only fish about 10 times okay and that will be enough to not only get your cell phone but also acquire all fishing gear for the rest of the game right so if you ever need to fish in hard mode for example get your life force potions so this will be easy now you know of course you're gonna get a couple of stacks of uh, crate sonar and fishing potions and not including all the accessories that the tackle bag you see we already got one full tackle bag and we probably can craft another one now Boom, we have two tackle bags. We have, uh, yeah, you see four, two ra weather radius and four pocket guides and we still are not getting the sextant, okay? So this took a while, guys, but eventually, oh yeah, we got it. So you see, I mean, yes, in journey mode, it only took me several minutes, but in, 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 with bad luck, right? So, but in uh, classic, it would take you probably you know if you're not lucky it would take you a day uh, you know hours i would assume but still it's quite doable you don't have to focus on fishing you just do those 10 quests and then uh, stockpile the fish and do your other activities prepare for hard mode and whatnot and eventually you will get your fish finder okay so next we move on to get three accessories from the traveler mer merchant so this is very easy the life form analyzer is one of the most uh, common items right you can obtain it very very easily so you just need to can kind of keep an eye on the uh, traveler mer traveling merchant whenever he arrives check his his gear and there you go dps meter is the second one so life form analyzer dps meter and we just need one more the last one is the stopwatch okay so so we're gonna wait for for the next traveler merchant to arrive and let's check oh yeah we got the stopwatch so this was fairly easy three three days maybe it's maybe more but it's not it's not a big deal so now we have we have the fish finder so we've done with fishing quests we have a magic mirror and at this point we have all three accessories that we get from the traveler merchant so this makes our progress quite quite good okay so next step we need to um, we need to get a few other things here okay so and one of the uh, actually three components can be obtained in the cavern layer okay so cavern layer and especially so I highly suggest this is the tip guys and look at this so if you do this in mushroom glowing mushroom biomes you actually have a good chance of spawning the nymph okay and the nymph is uh, um, it's she's very rare right so one of the rarest creatures pre hard mode but you can actually spawn her very often within minutes in the, in the cavern layer inside uh, mushroom biome okay so in the same biome you can actually farm uh, so bats for example bats will drop the uh, depth meter and quite a few creatures by the way there is a depth meter as you can see already by that salamander in the red uh, above uh, above me on the left side yeah jumping down so we can we can pick it up momentarily so um, the, the the reason i'm doing it the reason i suggest farming um you know farming in this cavern layer in in the glowing mushroom biome is that three accessories can drop here in the same in the same area from multiple mobs by the way okay so one of them is compass and look at this so mother slime just dropped one the other one is the uh, uh, obviously the depth meter we, we've just got it five minutes later uh, five minutes ago and obviously the uh, metal detector metal detector that which we we got from the nymph okay so now with those in mind like look at this so basically the hardest part of this journey is done so we need platinum golden watch 
that's another accessory because now we're about to craft quite a few items here okay so and at this point we're missing we're actually missing a couple of accessories still to complete our cell phone and I'll show you momentarily how uh, it can be done quite easily but let's f first you know metal detector stopwatch and DPS meter together give us the goblin tech okay which is good so now we have fish finder goblin tech we're just missing two more uh, uh, items here okay two more accessories so and at this point you, we can already craft from platinum watch deep depth meter and compass we can craft our GPS okay so and at this point we're only missing one last item by the way guys uh, well two items actually but one uh, composite item we need we are missing the rec 3k okay the rec 3k can only be obtained after defeating Skeletron unfortunately we cannot do much but uh, we need Raider, which can be obtained easily from wooden crates or wooden chests. And you know what? I think at this point crates are not the easiest way to obtain it. Chest, wooden chests in the surface area are probably your best bet. And because it's it's very common in, in those chests. Pretty much, um, you know, I, I find on, on average out of three wooden chests, one would have the, crate, uh, the, uh, the Raider. Okay, so look at this. Yeah, we got it. So now, once you have the Raider, the only last missing, the last remaining component that we need in order to craft, to craft our uh, last item is the Tally Counter. And that requires beating Skeletron, guys. So hold on, let's quickly do that. Okay, so beating Skeletron and, and entering the, uh, obviously, the, uh, the dungeon. The dungeon mobs have a chance of dropping uh, tally counter okay so pretty much every mob in the, in the dungeon can do it can drop it so yeah we just need to defeat quickly defeat the skeleton here okay heads uh, just the head remaining hands are down and let's give it a couple minutes just using the unrolled boomstick in master mode not too difficult just time consuming come on let's keep rolling okay a couple more seconds Let's just quickly finish, yeah, so, yeah, Master Mode Skeletron with no gear, pretty much, okay, let's get going. Alright, guys, so now, essentially what we do, we just farm, look at this, the first skull pretty much drops the, the Nazar. Nazar is needed for Ankh Shield, and that's uh, part of a different guide, but here, we're farming, we're looking for Tally Counter. Okay, guys, look at this, another two Nazars in a row. Well, that's 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 insane. That's insane, by the way. Okay, let's let's quickly farm those, farm the tally counter, and get out of here. So two Nazars, guys. That's that's unreal. Okay, so this uh, this approach now farming in the in the dungeon, I always suggest finding a, an open big open space so that you know that mobs can only spawn near you and cannot get stuck in some areas where they, they spawn over look at this third Nazar and tally counter okay get, guys we're, we're set so basically I was saying the, uh, f the the key to farm the dungeon is is all big open areas and making sure that mobs that spawn can all reach you because this way you can multiply increase their their spawn rates and efficiency of farming those okay guys so we found everything we actually needed and more right so Nazar is needed for for an ankh shield but now we can craft the rec 3k and for that we need tally counter life form analyzer and raider okay so all three done uh, all three components crafted sound we, we can craft pda now from gps fish finder goblin tech and rec 3k so now once we have the pda we use it to combine with magic mirror to get this cell phone and guys, this is actually a lot easier than, than it feels and sometimes it can be very frustrating, but hopefully these tips will help you. And thank you for watching, see you in the next video.